In one of our reports this week, I told you that I was out giving blood on Monday at the American Red Cross here in Chillicothe. Now, during this COVID-19 outbreak, they are still in need of blood donors. Coming up, we'll tell you how you can help and why. Rod Cook is the executive director of Ohio's East South Central region of the American Red Cross. He says though we're staying home, the Red Cross still needs blood donors. Exactly. Even with this uh, cr uh, coronavirus pandemic going on, there are still people out there that um, are sick, that need our blood, that are in accidents, that need our blood, that are giving childbirth, that need our, need our blood, or going through cancer treatment and need our blood products. Normally, in normal circumstances, uh, just here in Central Ohio, to cover 40 hospitals, we need around over 800 units of blood. That's every day, just to meet the hospital demand. And what is, as you can imagine, Dan, what's been happening over the last couple of weeks is we have lost literally hundreds of blood drives, which is almost, almost 20,000 units of blood, potential units of blood that we've lost. So that is why we are um, strongly encouraging any healthy individual out there that can donate blood to please do so. Those that do come in to give blood, we have set up extra protocols that you went through to make sure that anybody coming into the building is, is healthy. Um, we want to make sure we're keeping both our donors and our staff um, healthy so that we can continue doing this. The easiest way to do it is in today's uh, day of technology is to download our blood donor app and you can register sign up for a time slot to come in down and give blood you can also access what we call rapid pass which is a way to kind of speed up the process as you come through what uh, rapid pass does is it gives you the ability to do a lot of the pre-screening that you normally would do at blood drives the um, the safety reading readings and the health history so that you can bypass all of those you do it actually on your on your phone or on your computer before you come in and then you can you can get through the line a lot quicker that way what we normally do anyway all of our staff have always worn gloves and changed gloves out with each donor we've always had very strict health precautions per the fda that's for our normal blood drive on top of that we're pre-screening Folks, before they come in, we're taking temperatures. Um, we have signage on the door that we're asking people to read. Think about three questions, how they've been feeling in the last couple of days, et cetera, before they even enter the building. Once you get inside where all the beds are, we're keeping the, the chairs that you sit in to wait. We're keeping those six feet apart. Um, staff is maintaining as best as possible the six foot uh, distance, except for when they have to go and, and actually um, work with a client that's in the bed and we're scrubbing down all the equipment, the beds, everything, sterilizing after each donor comes through. The Red Cross is an essential service. Our blood donation centers will still be open. People are allowed to leave their homes to go donate blood and our disaster services will still be provided. You can download the free blood donor app wherever you get your apps for mobile devices. And you can always make an appointment to give blood when you log on to redcrossblood.org. I'm Dan Ramey. Thanks for watching Litter Media.